Thank you, sweetheart. Oh, okay. There's Barb. Hi. Barb. Hello. Hi, Barb. Hi. Oh, reflection on my glasses. Nice. <laughs> Looks like somewhat off Star Trek. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Reflection off her glasses. Okay. So, um, here's my notes. It's going to start with a land acknowledgement. Uh, Barb and I are beaming in from the lower Assiniboia watershed. Uh, we're settlers on the swindled lands of Treaty 1 territory, uh, the traditional lands of the Anishinaabe, the, the Cree, sorry, Inihu Cree, Oji Cree, Denny, and Dakota, uh, and the birthplace of the Métis Nation. Uh, the colonial name for our city is Winnipeg. We've got a lot of Winnipeggers here. Uh, is there anyone else that'd like to, that's not Winnipegger, that would like to acknowledge their territories? Or? Original okay. from BC. Original from BC, yeah. I'll have to figure yeah. out what that one would be. Look into it, okay, cool. All right, so um, before we um, start the quiz, uh, there's something I wanted to share. Um, or share with everyone. We're all going to share, kind of share this together. So it turns out when I was prepping for the quiz, I learned that uh, Vince Fontaine uh, recorded a song for someone he knew from the music industry, you know, who was really, really ill, uh, gravely ill. And he put that on his Facebook. Or no, he didn't put that on his Facebook. It was a private thing that he shared. And, um, and then he died the next day. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to watch that uh, as soon as my computer is ready. There's a bit of a lag uh, going on, so. I don't know how to get into that Oh, you don't have it. Okay, no. you, got, you got some time to get logged in. So you got to, it's going to help Barb get logged in while we wait for the leg. Open up, um, what do you use for web browsers? Safari? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so go to, here we go. See, crowd.live. Okay. Excellent. Hey, Jackie, and uh, hey, family and friends, because I'm sure that uh, family members are Jackie, you're also here. Jackie, we just wanted to keep Hey, Jackie, and uh, hey, family and friends, because I'm sure that uh, if you're paying attention, yeah, Jackie, you're also hearing as well. So We're all thinking of you. And uh, Jackie, we just wanted to uh, sing uh, one of the Indian City songs for you. This one, especially, is one that uh, uh, we wrote, and uh, Jim Cuddy actually sang it. And I have so many amazing memories of uh, you and I at, uh, at the Junos, and uh, just uh, so many great memories with you. So I'm thinking of you and praying for you. And uh, this is a, a special song for, uh, as well, another reason, let uh, Vince tell you. Are you guys getting a terrible echo? We were. And then it fixed itself? I think so. Okay. Okay. Then I'll just click play again. I think I, I think I solved the problem. Sorry about the technical difficulties. It's, it's worth listening, though. Try Hey, Jackie and friends, uh, here's a song called Star People. It's, uh, it's in our tradition. It's a song about journey. Letting you know, Jackie, we love you and love you forever. Here's a song called Star People. I am so sorry about this. Sailor's territory. There we go. I'm just starting it, starting it over again. Hey, Jackie, 
and uh, through family and friends, as I'm sure that uh, there's a Jackie. I'm also hearing as well. We're all thinking of you. And uh, Jackie, we just wanted to uh, sing uh, one of the Indian City songs for you. This one especially is one that uh, uh, we wrote, and Jim Cuddy actually sang it. And I have so many amazing memories of uh, you and I at, uh, at the Junos, and uh, just uh, so many great memories with you. So I'm thinking of you and praying for you. And uh, this is a, a special song for, uh, as well, another reason, what uh, Vince tell you. Hey, Jackie and friends. Uh, here's a song called Star People. It's, uh, it's in our tradition. It's a song about journey. Letting you know, Jackie, we love you. And love you forever. Here's a song called Star People. We're on the road, we're leaving now. Gonna find the place they call tomorrow. Tomorrow. See, it's the place we dreamed about. If we go, there ain't no doubt they'll follow, they'll follow. Suddenly we've come this far, I realize there's so much more to this life. Oh, this life. And I believe in you and if you believe in me, we're there by daylight. Oh, yeah. Take me to the stars. Never go too far. Yeah, take me to the stars. Oh, oh, oh. let's find out who we are. Who we are. I wrote a song with you in mind. We can pass the past with you in mind. Right now, right now. I had a dream of you and I Seven sacred teachings Show us why Show us how Show us how You hear the voice of Mother Earth She's asking what she's really worth She's crying Okay, let's um just observe a moment of silence here. Joke before that you'd play all 82 games if you were allowed, but you played sort of 12 in a row here back to backs with travel 22 right. hours apart. I mean, how does the body feel? And was there ever any question in your mind that you could go today? Mm -hmm. oh, you know, I think I've been managing my body pretty well. Um, there was definitely no question. And yeah, I joke, but I gotta make sure I'm doing the right things for recovery and sure i'm not exhausting my body or my energy and okay <laughs> i finally figured was out what was going on okay yeah facebook autoplay <laughs> i think i need to leave i think i'm jinxing the whole the whole evening i just need to go upstairs it's okay it's okay yeah, hey, it's not you. It's not okay. you. Hey, it's not you. I'm throwing you off. That's not you. It's not you. You're not throwing it's, me off at all. Autoplay throws everyone off all the time. I just turn stupid autoplay off. <laughs> Look at those reels. You have to be a ninja. Mm -hmm. You know those reels that just start playing constantly and yeah. you get sucked in? I had to turn it off, like turn off autoplay because I can't get rid of the reels, but... Ugh, you have to be a ninja to shut the uh, next video off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I was on a completely different tab. I, during our moment of silence, I thought I'd get this trivia game up. Uh, <laughs> my techie husband crash and burns.
<laughs> I was blaming Uncle Lyle. Just like me yesterday at work. It's okay. <laughs> Thank goodness. Well, I'm sure. I'm sure Vince Fontaine would have enjoyed a good laugh Probably. if he was here. And he, he is. is and he is. Humor. And he is here. Yeah. All right, Ty, are we ready to go? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Everyone's logged in. Okay. Um, oh, oh wait, no. Except Barb. No, Barb's not logged in. Per I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was having to order pizza okay, for the whole code, family. Um, enter your name. You got your name. Okay. Code is coming. Here it's it comes. Name. I don't know what I mean. Barb. No, it's already mentioned. Your name. V N V N I seven two. Okay. Sorry, guys. V N. All good. I seven two. Correct. Oh no, it says enter a nickname. It, it is one. It doesn't remember your name. <clears throat> it hasn't forgotten you. You got a new phone. <coughs> yeah, it just looks it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. Now we're ready. <sighs> okay. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> five, four, three, two, one. Uh, question one. One of the last things Vince Fontaine did was record a song for his friend, Jackie Black. How did they know each other? Mm -hmm. Jackie played in one of Vince's bands. Jackie managed the Indigenous Music Awards. Jackie did sound on many Fontaine's shows. Jackie worked the lights for many of Fontaine's shows. Yeah. And I put a couple links in the chat. Um, if Rose arrived late, she might not have saw those, so I'll stick them back in again. A lot of the answers uh, to the questions can be found here. We don't need to go on Google to find the answers. Um, oh, I got that one wrong. Oh, well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Too excited to play. Well, you know, you took a guess, you took a guess right? Yeah. You could have you scored big if, with that quick answer. I know, right? <laughs> And that song was the one we just listened to, actually. I know. I was like, oh, I got this. And I was like, ooh. And then it was like, oh, no, that's wrong answer. Okay. I have done that so many times. You get too excited. Yeah, I was just too excited to be playing. Okay, so by my, by my calculations, I should be waiting for four votes. Oh, maybe I can. Nope, can't change it. Is that right? So Rose, yeah. Carrie, Lyle, and Barb. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We have four votes. We had one correct answer. Jackie managed the Indigenous Music Awards. Yeah. Okay, next question. Vince, in the video of that recording, and Jeremy Cause in the article, hmm, it's happening. Describe the song Star People as one of A, journey, B, courage, C, humility, D, love. I wish I could tilt the camera. Barb's got her highlighter out. She is, because uh, we had we printed the articles, right? So she is uh, oh. all over this. <laughs> She's literally doing the open book method. Yeah. <laughs> Well, because I, yeah, I can't do this plus be on Zoom plus because I have a phone. I don't have a laptop. So. Yeah. Oh. Hard to find the answers on here, so. Yeah, I can't. Okay. Well, I can't do all the votes are in, and we had two correct answers that time. The answer was A, journey. Mm -hmm. Question three. In what year did Eagle and Hawk win a Juno Award for the album On and On? 2000, 2001, 2002, or 2003. Okay. Oh, there goes Barb. Show us the scores after uh, we get these answers in. Yeah, thanks. I figured quarterly since there's 12 questions. <laughs> hey, you're, you're on it. So
So while people are Googling, I just want to thank uh, Black History Manitoba Celebration Community for, sorry, Celebration Committee uh, for sharing uh, their Zoom with us and helping us. It's good to be in community with these people. And uh, Black History Month is coming up um, very soon, and there's all kinds of events. So I'm going to put a link uh, to their calendar on uh, in the chat. One of the first events uh, next month is a trivia event, actually, that we're going to be helping them with. So it's not going to be a non-trivial trivia night. It's going to be a Black History Manitoba uh, trivia night. So if you want to get involved in that, you'll have to hook up with them, and they'll get you get you linked up. Okay, we have all the votes are in. <clears throat> we had three correct. The correct answer was C, 2002. And here are your rankings. Drum roll, please. I do have a drum in this room. <laughs> there you go. Lots of time to catch up. Okay, question four. What sport did Vince play with Jim Cuddy regularly at the Juno Cup? Lacrosse, hockey, basketball, or curling? Hey, Sophie. Sophie, they're hanging out at your feet. Uh, she wants to know what's what's going on with all the cords. Oh, well, of course. <laughs> okay, all the votes are in and everyone chose correctly. It was B, hockey. Question five. In what year did Fontaine start Indian City? 2009, 2010, 2011, or 2012? Okay, all the votes are in. Everyone voted correctly. It was D, 2012. Yay. Okay, question six. With which community organization did Vince deliver hampers? 204 Neighborhood Watch, the Bear Clan, Harvest Manitoba, or Agent Opportunity Support Center? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. Is Barb Blake's having the the website? The answers, the, the notes. 
print, print it out. out. Um, if Sorry, anyone else is finding that, I could send the links early, and then you guys could print them out ahead of time. If that's that's something we could do. Because I'm just using my phone, so it's really stressful to try to go over and go back and go over, and then I'm like, Ugh. so oh, this back works. and forth between tabs. Yeah, it's. Doesn't well, I'm. Work. I was gonna say the same thing because I mean, I, I like. I'm definitely a digital person, but I clicked back into the Zoom when I was trying to answer one of them, and I was like, ah! <laughs> yeah, that happens to me when I've tried to do that, and I'm yeah. pressing, 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 and screw it up. <laughs> I was just like, oh no, I'm not in the right place. Yeah, I've done Cost that me before. a few seconds. Everyone's done. We had three correct answers, which was B, Bear Clan. Yay. Are the drum roll required? <gasps> oh, yes. Barb's going, coming for you, I, Carrie. I was going to say, yeah. Barb is gaining on me. This has happened before. Yes. I should mention, we don't have a prize today. because It's just bragging rights, so it, we put this together on short notice. So. I'm always down for bragging rights. <laughs> yeah. Right, Last time right, you won a right, prize, right. you gave it away, Sherry. Yeah, so. Okay, question seven. Jay Bodner described Vince Fontaine's overall message as one of hope, partnership, patience, understanding, learning, or war. I am guessing on every single one. Ooh, you're going for the I've big lucky. <laughs> Now, not all the answers are in that that article. This obituary was written by the family. I just popped that in the chat. So there, some of the answers might be in there as well. How much time do I have? You have three minutes and 12 seconds. Okay. <laughs> and if you answer right now, you get 61 points. I like Barb though. She's, she's looking for the right answer. There may be more than one right answer to this question, by the way. Really? Oh no. Yeah. You get full points for any right answer. Jay Bodner described Vince Fontaine's overall message as one of. All the votes are in. Interesting. Um, the first five responses were correct. Hope, partnership, patience, understanding, and learning. But all four of you chose the same one. I was going to ask if we all chose A. <laughs> we all chose A. Yeah. Oh, now I find it. Okay. Read it out loud. I think, I think he recognized that the message needs to be one of hope, one of partnership, one of patience and understanding and learning instead of war, Bodner says. I feel we made the right choice. Yeah, I didn't see that. That's okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay, question eight coming up. What Winnipeg neighborhood did Vince grow up in? Elmwood, St. James, Point Douglas, or North End? Barb just answered. I saw it happen in real time. <laughs> What could have been the pizza delivery person for me? So Rose, I caught uh, Omicron, so I was in the basement for 10 days, <laughs> isolating from my family. That's so. yeah, so we're finally sitting together. Yeah. <laughs> My uncle actually zoomed in from Chilliwack and we watched a couple of hockey games together. So it was a nice. That's awesome. Okay, the votes are in. We had two correct votes. The answer was A, Elmwood. Question nine. Okay, okay. who gave Vince his first guitar? His brother Larry, his sister Shirley, his mother Nora, or his cousin Phil?
should also thank the free press for making the, both of these uh, no paywall on these articles so people can learn about this. Mm -hmm. So Rose knows Shelley. Shelley works there, so she can pass that along. It's nice to have connections. <laughs> yay, yay, free press, yay. Mm -hmm. I never know because I have a subscription, so I don't know what's paywall and not. Yeah, I, I do too, but uh, my uncle tested for me because he's out in BC. So. Okay, all the answers are in. We had three correct answers. It was B, his sister, Shirley. Hmm. Good job, Shirley. Yeah. Wonder if someone else would have given him a guitar if Shirley didn't. That was just my question. Like, you know, what, what would have happened if Shirley hadn't given him a guitar? Yeah. He might have came someone across one, but. Could have been Vince Fontaine on the pan flute or something. Oh, pizza's yeah. here. Hand, Someone's going to pull ahead of our hand on that drum carry. Drum roll, please. First. Look at this. I was going to say, I probably shouldn't drum roll myself. It seems wrong. <laughs> There you go. You can, you can and now question 10. <clears throat> Where did Vince play racquetball with his longtime buddies? The downtown YMCA at the community center in Elmwood. He didn't play racquetball. Or, oh, yeah, there's three. Michael, throwing off Jen's rhythm. <laughs> Yes, there's always there's option D. <laughs> First you throw a five at me, then you throw a three. Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone's in. We had one correct answer, and that was the downtown YMCA. Mm. Ooh, that was Barb. That might change the standings. Oh. Okay, question 11. This is the is that second right? last. Oh, question. Nope. Good, good, good. <laughs> what did Vince eat with his cousin Phil? Salt and vinegar chips, BDI ice cream, cinnamon buns, or what every that happened to barbecue that day? <laughs> what every? Oh my goodness. <laughs> my young typos. <laughs> Chip. You already answered. You can go pay. We got pizza problems. Sorry, hang on one sec. Yeah, don't start the lightning round without Barb. <laughs> She's got to pay for pizza. Definitely have to wait for Barb to be back for the lightning round. Yeah, absolutely. She got three and a half minutes. She's fine. Well, she's already put her answer in. Everyone has the I'm correct answer. That Barb is correct. But Yes, the correct answer was C, cinnamon buns. Oh, yay, Barb. Okay, yeah, she's not back yet. That's okay. Mm. Yeah, I remembered that one from looking up all the people's names in the obituary, and I remembered the cinnamon buns, so I didn't have to go reference it again. No, I'm not saying, like, I, I felt bad about this one, because he, he, they might have eaten salt and vinegar, vinegar chips, too, right? <laughs> I, I, I mean, to yeah true can you show us the scores before we panic over the lightning yes round? sure can what's at stake bragging rights but how close is it dun, 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 dun. oh my goodness look at this oh barb <laughs> oh my god oh, that's close she's gonna win the cheese sandwich both. grandma would say and they both have 10 <laughs> out of 12 correct Holy moly. Okay, guys. It's a lightning round. You're all familiar. <laughs> Answer quickly. Do not Google. Here we go. Question 12. What did Vince love more than music? <laughs> his family, quick, friends, quick, and community. His family <laughs> friends, and community. His family, friends, and community, or his family, friends, and community? <laughs> Everyone chose A. And the winner is Gary by Congratulations, Gary. Yay! Wow. 
within the first three questions, you guys were 400, 500 points apart. It's just like, I love how quickly, like the, the whole game can shift with this platform. Yeah. It's just like, it's, it, it, I think that's what makes it fun. Yeah. Good job. Hmm. Jen, do you know how to finalize a game? You want to you wanna try that while, while we've got it open? This is, kind of, this is something we haven't done before. There's a, there's a stop button up there. Never used that. Yeah, use that and it'll show everybody on their phones uh, what they got correctly and what they got incorrect. Oh, cool. So you can learn from your mistakes if you want to be hardcore. As, as a non-participant, I can't see yeah. it. Isn't that cool, Karen? So it's like the study guide. <laughs> it's like the study guide, exactly. The Vince Fontaine study guide, yeah. See, and as we scroll, keep scrolling, it shows you all the correct answers there. Nice. So I did answer the question about racquetball incorrectly. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. <laughs> I can't see who answered what. Oh, yes, who I answered, answered how. I answered the racquetball one incorrectly. I said that he did not play racquetball. <laughs> okay. I should so say a, there, there could be a way for me to see who answers how, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah. So while we're all together, I want to brag about Carrie. She's helping out with our social media now. So now that you won, Carrie, you could tweet about this like crazy. <laughs> hey, there we go. <laughs> you have the power to brag about I, I do have the power. <laughs> And our next quiz. Uh, mid uh, mid February. Mm -hmm. Is the 17th uh, ring a bell, Jen? Not at all. Mm. The 19th ring a bell? Mm, no. <laughs> it's um it's the day before my anniversary. <laughs> That's so. Not just your anniversary, what's what is it? Oh, the day before Barb's birthday. No. Oh, okay, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, you said our anniversary, and I said, what about our anniversary? Uh, the quiz, quiz is the day before. Okay. Is there any way you can share this with the group? This one, it's really good. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, Barb wants to share something. So anyway, um, you're free to go, but if you want to hang out for the after party, uh, Barb has something. 